I'm excited that he belongs to us. Our God is a good God. I know, I know that because he loves us so. He has shown his love towards us, y'all. The Bible says in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Oh, what a love that Jesus has for us. He's made a way for us that we can overcome any obstacle, come on, any situation. Come on, you can do it. Tell somebody you can do it. You can do it because of the Christ that's in you. Let's be clear about that. I don't want you to get mixed up today. He said, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, look at your neighbor. Tell him you can do it. And the Bible tells us that we can, listen, you have power. You have power on the inside of your mouth. Hallelujah. It's in my mouth. The Bible told us to speak to that mountain. You got to get beyond your thinking and start speaking the word of God. Come on, today we're talking about doing it God's way. You, you, you got to speak this thing. You got to get beyond your thinking. You know, because sometimes we all know our, our minds are something else. They, they can be split in 10 different ways, right? Right, your mind will play games on you. Have you thinking things that ain't so? But see, what, what the devil tries to do is to get in your mind so that you can speak it. Come on, somebody. It's one thing to think a cuss word. It's another thing to say it. Hello, somebody. It's one thing to think that I'm sick. It's another thing to say it. See, declarations are made with the mouth. Come on, somebody. I can tell when I'm talking to somebody of faith because their conversation is different. Hallelujah. The devil has our minds so messed up that we like talking about our issues. We like confessing sickness. We like confessing pain. Especially when we walk up on somebody else that looks like they, they limping more than you. Oh, my knees. Come on, y'all. Y'all know how we get. It's one thing to think it, another thing to say it. Come on, somebody say, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Doing it God's way. You have the power on the inside of you. Come on, you have the power on the inside of you. The Bible says, I can, I can. Somebody say, I can. Do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Hallelujah. Some of us, we just don't want to, you know, take no responsibility. I know we say, well, it's all, it's all in God's hands. And it is all in God's hands because we are in God's hands. But don't think that you don't have to make confession with your mouth and believe it in your heart. Come on, God don't have to make up his mind. He already know what he supplied. Come on, y'all. God already knows what he said, mother. He already knows what he has established. He wants you to get it. Somebody say, will you get it today? Come on, you've got to get this thing today. And you've got to do it God's way. 
God's way. That's the title today, doing it God's way. Talking about overcoming God's way. Fighting God's way. I, I mean, through my experience, and I'm sure I will say some of us, I can guarantee all of us have been in a position one time or another where we thought we could do it our way but it leads to nothing but further agony. Come on, lengthening out your tests, lengthening out your troubles. Amen, we just make it longer when we try to put our hands in things without consulting God. I didn't say don't put your hand in it, but you gotta put your hand in it when you consult God. Hallelujah. Cause he wants you to be an active participant in your deliverance. Hallelujah. Ah, I feel that thing today. I know that God is in the delivering business. We put so much emphasis on healing, but what God is looking to do is to save you from your sin. Amen. Healing just comes along with the territory of loving God. He said, it is the children's bread. It belongs to us. But what God wants to really do is to heal your soul. Because our souls are sick. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. He wants to save you from the inside out. We don't go off whether you're jumping around. Come on, y'all. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Hallelujah. And, and the thing is, is that if you come into this house thinking that you got to prove to somebody that you're saved, you're in the wrong house. I don't need no proof of your salvation. That's between you and God. Come on, somebody. My job is to preach the word of God. Come on, to pull the evilness out of you. Hallelujah. To pull those things, those weights, and those sins that so easily beset us. And while I'm pulling on you, I'm pulling on myself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We got to pull. There's an exchange going on here. Hallelujah. But we got to do this thing God's way. Hallelujah. We've had so many testimonies on this past week. Amen. So many phone calls on this past week. And we've been praying and believing God. Amen. And God has had us on our knees just praying. But it seems like, you know, you go down on your knees one way, thinking you're going to pray one way. Amen. And you get in the spirit. Come on, somebody say, get in the spirit. When you get in the spirit, it will tell you and teach you how to pray. You cannot pray. I've learned. Don't pray your agenda. Oh, my God. Don't pray your agenda. Oh, my goodness. It's such a waste of time. Come on. It's such a waste of time to pray your agenda. You've got to learn how to get in the spirit. Hallelujah. And we're going to talk about that today. Go over to Ephesians chapter 6. Uh, it's going to take just a minute to get there. I'm going to hurry up, y'all. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers that are here in the house today. Amen. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all those who are joining us online. Amen. Come on, let's give our online church a hand clap today. Thank God for you. Thank God for you being here. Amen. Through our social media. We're going to go over to Ephesians chapter 6. Amen. We're going to tie it in. We're going to tie it in. Amen. Verse 10. All right. Talking to us. Paul is talking here. He said, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Somebody say, doing it God's way. In the power of 
his might. Many times, y'all, we are just, we just don't have the stamina sometimes within ourselves to stand up against the things that come our way. But there's another, there's another gear on the inside of you. You know how they talk about that gear on the inside of you that gets you going? You know, when you think everything is over, there's an extra gear that just kicks in. There's another gear and it's called the power of God. Amen. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Doing it God's way. Put on the whole armor of God. Man, if we could just ever get the whole thing. Instead of parts and pieces of the armor of God. Hallelujah. Some of us, we only want pieces. We don't even want it all. But I'm telling you today, you will not survive, come on, what's coming to this world without all of it. Somebody say the whole armor. Mm. That ye may be able, so that tells me that if you don't have it, you ain't able. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Talking about doing it God's way. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and, and rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. This ain't no regular fight. You can't take no gun to it. You can't take no knife to it. Come on, y'all. Uh, this battle is one on your knees. Come on, somebody. This battle is one with your hands up in the air telling God, thank you. Uh, this battle is won by confession with your mouth. Talking about doing it God's way. It says, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Somebody say, right now. Mm, I almost want to change that word instead of evil day just say that you may be able to stand today somebody say today we're in that day we're in that day hallelujah we're in that day that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand Having done all to stand. Really all you got to do is give your life to Jesus. And he will fully equip you for everything and every battle that will ever come your way. Some of us are saying, well, I got to get these things one by one. No. When you come, God fully dresses you. Come on, somebody. He exchanges your robe for a robe of righteousness. Hallelujah. He fully equips us with everything that we need to battle in this world. It says, stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth. I said, well, why is that one first? Hallelujah. Because you can't come to God unless you see your truth. Come on, somebody. If you keep on lying to yourself saying, I don't need God. Come on now. You, 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 if you don't, if you can't come for, let's just talk about us. If you can't come to, to the conclusion that I'm a sinner and I need Jesus, you ain't even going to get to the next step. It's the truth of the word of God. Come on that magnifies who we are thank you Lord God it's the word of God people say well what is the purpose for the law the law is to show us come on where we are in such a deficit come on in our living now we are not subject to the law come on when you when you come under Christ Amen. He said, you are no longer bound to the law, 
But listen, don't think that you don't have to follow God's commandments. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And the thing is, is that you've got to learn to love the things of Jesus. You've got to learn to love the ways of God. And I'm going to tell you now, when you get God on the inside, it's not a struggle not to sin. First of all, I don't even pay attention to it too much. I ain't the type of person, if I do something wrong, I got to drop to my knees right there. No, I ain't saying all that. Amen. They're going to be looking at you like you're crazy. Hallelujah. I just know that because Jesus is mine and he's my savior, I'm already forgiven for that thing. Because his blood supersedes, come on, my faults. Hello, somebody? Don't get scared. Don't get afraid to say that my sins are paid for. Come on, y'all. My sins are forgiven. In the past, right now and tomorrow somebody say his blood is enough his blood is enough some of us are afraid of that we're afraid of oh my goodness your sins yes I'm going to heaven y'all it's a fact if I die right now I'm good Somebody say, I'm good. I'm good because I've asked the Lord to come into my life. Be my Savior. Be my Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's get through this. It says here, having your loins girded with truth first and having the breastplate of righteousness Knowing that, come on, the breastplate of righteousness, knowing that now that the truth has affected me, now I know I'm under the righteousness of God. I'm in right, sta I'm, 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 I'm in right standing now. That's what righteousness is. I'm in right standing with God. We got an understanding now that I need him and he wants me. Let me say that again. I need him and he wants me. I'm in right standing. We got an agreement now. He says, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Somebody say the gospel. That means I'm walking on the word of God. I'm walking on the gospel. Everywhere I go, I know what is the gospel? It ain't the healing. It ain't the gospel is that Jesus died for me. And that he rose again for me that I might have the victory. That's the gospel. That's the good news. Because if you don't have that, you got nothing. Thank you, Lord God. Because you can go to hell just as he healthy. Come on, somebody. We put too much emphasis, come on, on the, on, the, on the blessings of God. But the, the blessing is salvation and salvation alone. Everything else comes along with that. Hallelujah. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of, wicked, of the wicked. Thank you, Lord God. That shield of faith, knowing that no God is real and he has me. No matter what I see, I'm not going to walk by sight, but I'm going to walk by faith. Thank you, Lord God, because the enemy will try to convince your mind, which is the reason why you need to take the helmet of salvation. People say, what do you mean the helmet of salvation? Listen, you need your salvation here. You, you need it here because the ears are the gateway come on somebody amen it's, it's, that, it's that noise that he makes here before it gets into your heart amen so you got to guard your mind you got to know that you're saved 
the helmet of salvation. Thank you, Lord God. And the sword of the Spirit, which is what? Say that again. What is it? Now, 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 some of us, hallelujah, I thank God for this past Tuesday. I think this was one of the biggest Bible studies we had. It was people logged on there. I was about to ask for visitors' cards. But some of us, we, 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 we got a lot of the armor here. Amen. We even got the shield of faith. We, we got the truth. We got the breastplate of righteousness. We know the gospel. Some of us don't have the sword of the spirit because we don't know the word of God. How are you going to fight the enemy when you got to wait for Sunday for somebody to give you some word to fight with. I mean, do you really got to wait a week? Come on, for a sword to get into your hand? You, you done prolong your suffering by many days. If you just knew the word of God. To be able to speak to the devil when he messes with you. Tell somebody, cut him up, cut him up. Cut him up. Y'all know how y'all used to be in the street? Wanting to cut somebody? Talking to you ladies out here, got them switchblades in your pocketbook. I cut you, I cut you. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank God for deliverance. All these saved people up in here. Thank the Lord. Tell them, don't you mess with me though. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But come on, don't prolong your agony by not knowing the word of God. That's how we fight. We fight with the word of God. You got to understand, amen, that the Bible even tells us that when we pray, we're supposed to pray the word of God. So I'm telling you today, saints of God, you got to get to know this word. And then the Bible says here, this is what this is the scripture I want to get to. It says praying always. Come on, somebody say praying always. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. But this is it. This is the hook. Somebody say in the spirit. Oh, tell somebody that's it. That's it right there. You, you can pray all you want to pray. If you ain't praying in the spirit. And I'm not talking about talking in tongues. I ain't talking about speaking in unknown tongues only. I'm talking about allowing God to speak to you. When the last time you prayed and you gave God some time, you shut your mouth and said, Lord, speak to me. Every example in the word of God that we look at when the Bible says somebody was praying in the spirit, the Lord was speaking to them. You can go over to John in Revelation. I believe, I believe it's chapter one. John said, on the Lord's day, I was in the spirit. Come on, on the Lord's day, I was in the, oh, I was in the spirit. I got to, I got to, I got to get to that one. Revelation, chapter one. Oh, verse 10. It says, mm, where are we? Ah, where you at? Where you at? There we go. Yeah, verse 10. That was John speaking. Well, let's go to 9. It says, I, John, who also am your brother. He's telling you how to do it, y'all. And companion in tribulation. 
He said, this is how we got to fight. I'm trying to show you. I'm giving you some example here. He said, and the kingdom, and, and in the kingdom, he's your brother in tribulation, and in the kingdom, and in patience. Of Jesus Christ was in the isle that is called Patmos. He was in a desolate place, y'all. For the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Some of us, we think we're in these desolate places because we're in punishment. But sometimes God is trying to set you apart so he can talk to you. Somebody say, speak to me, Lord. Sometimes we got so much outside noise because of life. And God is saying, I got to get you to a place where you're going to start to be in the spirit. Because when you're in the spirit of God, that's when he can communicate with you. Most of us, we are used to praying a honey-do list. Hello, somebody. That's all we do. We go to God with our honey-do list. We just change honey to Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of us even say, sweet Jesus. We gonna butter Jesus up. We gonna butter him up. Sweet Jesus. I need you now. Don't you hear me calling? Sweet Jesus. You don't have to butter God up. Tell somebody he wants to bless you. He's aching to bless you. He, 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 he just wants you to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Thank you, Lord God. But let's get to it. Number 10. It says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And heard behind me a great voice. As of a trumpet. Oh, do I want to get into this? One minute. It said, in one minute. It's going to be 1230 in one minute. It says, saying, I am Alpha and Omega. The first and the last. He wasn't repeating this to him. Jesus was talking to John. And what thou seest, write it in a book. And send it unto the churches which are in Asia and and, and, and Ephesus and Samaria and Samaria and, and to Pergamos and Thyatira and to Sardis and Philadelphia and unto Laodicea I'm not going to continue amen but I want to tell you today saints of God that when you pray in the spirit allow God to speak to your heart and that's where you will find your answer John found answers here and he wrote it in a book for us to have those same answers. There's a way that we must fight. But you first have to put on the whole armor of God. So that you can do it God's way. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Come on give the Lord a hand praise. Thank you Lord God. Thank you Lord God. God is looking to give us instruction saints of God. God is looking to give us instruction. Listen for his voice. Listen for his voice. Listen for his voice. Get in that quiet place. Wherever you 